Hey guys, it's Alejandro here from Without Fear. In this video, I'm gonna give you a step-by-step -step guide to use triggers as an opportunity to learn something about yourself. So, what are triggers? We've been hearing this word going around a lot, and it seems like it's something that people want to avoid. A trigger is when a situation or a person or an idea gives us an emotional charge that is uncomfortable, something that keeps us from being able to be present, something that consumes our mind, and something that is distracting. Triggers are not something to be avoided. If you go around living your life trying to avoid situations or people that trigger you, you are in effect committing to not learning and growing at this opportunity. Emotional pain is similar to physical pain. It's uncomfortable, but it's there to show you that something's wrong and it needs your attention. When we get triggered and we feel an emotional charge, there is always an opportunity to grow if we so wish to take it. That doesn't mean that the people that make us triggered or the situations that make us triggered are justified or right or that the other people don't have something to learn for themselves. However, that's not within our control. All we can control is our own mind and body. If we take advantage of using these triggers as a way to look inside, we can get to a place where these same situations will not trigger us in the same way because we know what about us is being triggered by this situation. If you have a situation or a person that triggers you and you want to learn from this process, please grab a pen and a piece of paper and let's go through these steps together. Step one, data. This is only what can factually be said about the situation. No judgment or interpretation here. Only what could be undisputably true about it and captured by a camera. For example, if someone at the grocery store was rude to me, if I say someone at the grocery store was rude to me, that's a judgment about their attitude. I could say someone at the grocery store spoke to me or someone at the grocery store furrowed their brow when they looked at me. Something that a camera could capture that is undisputably true. Step two, judgments. Here's where you can just let it fly. Don't inhibit yourself in the judgments you feel. Allow yourself to write or say freely what these judgments are. I might judge this person as insensitive, mean, I might judge the situation. This is sort of like, what are the thoughts running in my mind about this situation, this person? Another way that we can look at judgments is what are the judgments I have about myself in this situation? Step three, feelings. What are the feelings I have around this? The important thing to distinguish here is that feelings are not the same as thoughts. Sometimes we are tempted when we're asked how we feel about something to say, I feel like you shouldn't treat me that way, or I feel like this person shouldn't be in my life, or I feel like this person was being mean. Those are still judgments. Feelings are only physical sensations in the body. If you want more help on feelings, please click here to watch my video explaining the five basic feelings. With feelings, this is your opportunity to really feel what they are. If you feel anger, allow yourself the space to breathe and drop into your body and feel that emotion fully whatever it may be. If you need to yell, then yell, if the space you're in permits. If you need to punch a pillow, then do that. You need to express this energy in order to get it unstuck from your body. Emotions are stored in the body and we need to be able to release them in some sort of a healthy way. If you're sad, cry. If you're afraid, just breathe in and allow that fear to fully consume you in a way that you're just present with it. Allow yourself to witness and be welcoming of these feelings and not try to resist or deny them. Step four, who does this person remind me of? Sometimes in life, someone will act a certain way which reminds us of someone for our past and we will project our feelings about that person from the past onto this new person or situation. Another way to look at it is as a mirror. Is this person reflecting back to me a behavior that I disown within myself? Usually at this point, we are able to understand where the projection comes from, whether it be from my own self or from somebody from my past. And this usually helps to remove the charge from that situation or person and shows me, here's the work I have to do. Maybe it shows me I need to do some work around my parents. Maybe it shows me I have to do some work around myself. 
The object of this process is to understand why that trigger happened. It doesn't mean that you'll solve where that trigger came from in this process. Do not gloss over the feelings part. Allow yourself to fully be there. If at this point in the process, you still feel very intensely, it means you haven't given yourself enough time to fully emote. Do not skip over that step. Step five, what does this situation show me that I value or want? A couple questions to ask are, what is something that this situation shows me that I want for myself moving forward? What does this situation show me that I want from this other person? Knowing that I might not get it, knowing that I might not be able to ask them for it. And finally, what does this situation show me that I value? What are my values? If the situation I looked at is someone being rude to me or my perception of someone being rude to me, then I might discover at the end of this process that I value being kind. And this is important because through this process, we are discovering what we want and what we value, what we care about, how we want to right our ship, what kind of a life do we want to live, who do we want to be in the world. Remember, triggers can be a situation that I want to avoid, run away from, or hide, but inevitably that same trigger will come find me again, no matter how I try to barricade it from my life. Use the trigger as an opportunity to learn about yourself and you reclaim your power, you reclaim your authority, you reclaim your autonomy in your own emotional body. You are the master of your mind and body. If you use these situations to learn, you will feel so much better. Thanks for watching. I'm Alejandro from Without Fear, and this has been my step-by-step -step process to use triggers as a way to learn something about yourself. Thank you.